A new study found that grass-fed beef has about 10 times the emissions of other proteins, ranging from three times to 40 times when we're talking about certain plant-based proteins. And yeah, looking to a chart like this from our world in data, we can see that plant-based proteins emitting a lot less and heck, even some nuts are carbon negative. And that's a gram per gram basis. Additionally, the study found that grass-fed beef was much worse than our industrial beef that we have in the US in terms of emissions. And the study looked at a lot of things in heavy detail, including claims of sequestration by various studies, even a meta-analysis, and found that even when sequestration is occurring, it is falling far short of offsetting the emissions from these cows. They also projected scenarios in which either rangeland or cropland beef was replaced with an equivalent amount of protein from plant-based sources, how much land, et cetera, would be saved. And they found that, yeah, about 100 million acres in each case or more would be saved, also saving hundreds of millions of metric tons of CO2 equivalent. And the authors go ahead and say, I think that there's a large portion of the population who really do wish their purchasing decisions will reflect their values, but they're being misled essentially by the wrong information. And no, it is not funded by Big Bean and there are no conflicts of interest declared. So you know, it appears that grass-fed beef's a bit of hot air. And now you know.